Hello, this is Chris again. I wanted to show you some of my art I used to make, and I still do once in a while. But this is uh, this is Dino. This is my dinosaur I made a couple years ago. Drew him from scratch, and it's metal. The black is metal, and then obviously the wall is what you see in between. So what we got here, pull him off the wall for you, is I draw a picture, and then I bend my metal to it, and somehow get it together without it all falling apart and getting weird and I fill the solid parts in with sheet metal or with little pieces if it's small enough and um, this one doesn't have a whole lot holding it together there's just a couple pieces that actually hold the whole thing together so here's a bunch I have on the wall that I just have for this show I'm not keeping them like this but so there's another one from the late 80s when the Triple Crown was almost won by Sunday Silence, an easy goer. So and then I started, actually just recently I added a little color to it, which is kind of neat now. So one's blue and one's got a little red. This one I made a couple years ago, Spitfire. That was really hard, trying to keep everything straight and in line. And So that's almost three feet long. And you got the little pilot in there looking at you. And um, so the shadows are tricky, you know, they, they stand off the wall a couple inches and you can see the shadows, if the sh you know, and if there's a lot of light on the black part itself, it doesn't look that great. And if there's too many shadows, it doesn't look that great. So it needs, really needs to be lit from the back somehow, put in a box, but I haven't got that far. Here's my new monster. He's a little out there, three-eyed elephant tusk bull scraper dude. And uh, here's another old one, my elephant. And then here's one I did recently of my niece and nephew. I took a photo of them and made made them out of metal. And it looks just like them. That was another tough one. And then my old one from the 80s again, an elephant sitting on a cliff. Kind of a bizarre thing. And then here's some uh, sheet metal shark. I did. Just sheet metal and bent and the fins welded on so they're coming out of the wall. He's colored guys and then this guy's way ahead of the pack going through the wall there. Here's some of my favorite pedal cars. 39 Dodge, 39 Zephyr, and 35 Pontiac. Got all my fancy old toasters up on this shelf. So I'm just kind of got all kinds of crazy stuff. And then I got into um, cookie cutters. Never liked the gingerbread men. They're all too corporate-y looking for me, so I made kind of my ultimate gingerbread men. A little fatty and laying down, guy showing his butt. And so I did a whole series of uh, gingerbread men. Uh, there's that chameleon clock I made in my ceramics class. Uh, here's some Egyptian doors I got. Really cool at an auction. Here's a 39 Buick made a long time ago. Kind of cool. And I got these little Egyptian guys here, little dancers on top of my window uh, cabinet frame. Um, what do we got? We got my comedy tra tragedy I made again back in the late 80s, early 90s. I drew that one myself. The separate little star floating there. Um, <clears throat> I got these clocks, <clears throat> little German soldier clocks, moving eye clocks, and um, made a little metal dude out of there, kind of a little skeleton ghost there floating. And then we got Marilyn. I made an Elvis and a clown. There's, it's, there's other stuff that I don't obviously have here, but she wound up turning out really well. There's Marilyn. I made a a nucleus planet, my little abstract planet there. That's cool. And my latest monster guy is uh, Buzz Saw the Flea Monkey. Turn the light off and you can see him a little better. He's my little creation, my little guy licking a lollipop. And I did a beer logo. Buzz Saw the Flea Monkey Ale, and he's licking his mug and the, licking the foam off his mug. And he's got green eyes. So I add a little color. I got him tattooed on me too. I thought he was so cool. So he's my little monster buddy. 
And then in my bedroom here, we got the very first ones I ever did. Thicker metal, harder to do. They're my dinosaur series. And unfortunately, I sold the Brontosaurus and the um, Pterodactyl, the Pteranodon, and never got them, you know, never remade them, so my set is really not complete. But And then, I guess this is the last one here, is my uh, Tusterosa. That was a hell of a, hell of a job. And I, I did a couple convertible Porsches that I sold. And, um, and then here's one, if I ever get back into it, is the P40. We'll do that and I'll probably instead of all that detail I will make the mouth all black and paint the face on it so I'll have a little color little painting and then the rest of it will be metal but so that's what I got to deal with this thing and I got to draw all those lines which ones I want to use and um, and I've kind of been just cutting them and gluing them together to hold them together temporarily until I weld it but then of course the heat melts it and things kind of want to pop and move and so it's it's a bugger you know but it's neat when they're done I got something I can brag about I guess but so anyway that's um some of my art <clears throat> and um thanks for watching and you know keep chasing after your dreams and have a good time and anyway here's my new haircut and my ugly mug so anyway take care y'all